had this idea for a character that he threw out at me, you know, this kind of bureaucratic guy that has to go once in a while to deal with the creatures. And because we have a very common frame of reference um, in South Africa of characters and personalities and cultures, etc., it was, it was a very quick thing to kind of invent the character. And one of the things Vickers is really good at is convincing these aliens to sign the forms and do stuff. And we did a whole a lot of that. On the cat food was Vickers' own invention, that they respond well to this. So he's got the record for the most number of, of, of evictions. You know, when these guys had to move before in the past, he had done really well. Um, so he's, he's generally speaking better with these creatures than, than most. Um, so his job is really to go there and, as the kind of leader of a team that's doing that, sort of set the example, make sure everybody's doing it properly, um, and himself actually evict a lot of them and actually get them to agree to, to sign their, their, their papers. There's two elements to it. They're moving them to be further away from, from downtown because they're close to the town. So there's, there's still aliens that appear in town, you know, and still, and it's getting difficult. So you can imagine, first they try to integrate, then they put them in a camp. Now they're realizing the camp is too close to the actual humans. But then the real thing that they're going to get is by, and they've been in this camp for a long time, and there's a lot of hidden weapons in there. So by moving them, they're sort of like a double... Double benefit, really. You're going to get them further away from people. That's what Vickers knows. That's what everyone knows at the time. You know, it's like, don't worry, these creatures are going to be away, and we're going to, we're going to give them better housing. And, you know, you can see they've messed up their housing. We're going to give them nice housing. Um, and, but once they're all out, we can really look for the weapons. We can really see now what other weapons have these guys, you know, been smuggling down from the ship and what stuff is hidden. Vickers' story is definitely about um, a, a level of self-awareness. A, a person who is in a certain little closed-off world suddenly becoming aware that all the things he thought, all the things he trusted, all the things he believed and thought were so important and so real and so much part of his identity uh, fall away. So at the real deep, almost mythological level, it's that fundamental question, really, who are we, who am I? And I think all good sci-fi actually has that. You know, you look at something like Blade Runner, or you look at you, you look at uh, Matrix. You know, the first one. There's there's a fundamental kind of question. You can miss it. You know, <laughs> and you can just watch the popcorn bit. But there's there, that question exists. You know, and Vickers goes through that process of when it all falls away, like like what is left. I've separated myself from you, and I've separated myself from from life. I've separated myself from animals. I mean, that's what human beings do. That's what we do. We, I exist only because I'm separate from you. In the ways that I'm separate from you is what creates my identity. You see that very clearly as an actor, um, like I was talking about earlier, that, that conditioning.